Hi, I'm Nick Houston here for Gotham Sound and Communications, and I am with the owner and mastermind of Zaxcom, Glenn Sanders. Glenn, thanks for coming in. Well, thanks, Nick. It's great to be here, as usual. And uh, you've got a new toy with, for us. Uh, what do you got? Well, we have the ZMT Flex. Uh, ZMT Flex is basically a new version of our ZMT transmitter, which was designed with sports users in mind. Mm -hmm. Basically, player safety is probably the main, uh, main reason we built the ZMT Flex, but also it has a very nice runtime of six continuous hours with up to 24 hours of standby time. Mm -hmm. And also, it's a stereo transmitter. It's the first transmitter that we've ever built that has two separate microphone connectors. In fact, what we did do is we went with micro dot connectors on this because we felt that size-wise they would give us what we needed. And also, we didn't want to go with something that wasn't uncommon. Uh, in other words, something that is manufactured directly by the microphone manufacturers. So the end users don't even have to wire microphones. So that was uh, another thing we went with. So let's, let's go back and talk about player safety. So obviously you have, uh, you have other transmitters that are also small, but what makes this one different that caters towards the player safety aspect of this for sports? Well, basically this transmitter is very thin mm -hmm. and so I, let's, can, let's yeah, I can hold this uh, up here. So that's, that's how thick the transmitter is. It's actually 0.4 inches thick. So, uh, you know, very, very thin. And we're able to uh, make it bend in the middle mm -hmm. because that's what uh, the sports organizations require. So, you know, if I come over here, I can just show you that I can go easily uh, 45 degrees with this, or if not even maybe closer to 90 without any issue at all. So really it's, uh, you know, something where if a player lands on it, mm -hmm. uh, it's not going to cause harm to that player. It's really very, very friendly. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's got a little bit of a, the jacket itself that's around the transmitter is padded as well, it looks like. Well, that's correct. The actual transmitter hardware, both the battery and the electronics, are really only about 0.2 inches thick, just less than a quarter of an inch. Mm -hmm. So the whole thing is really, really quite uh, soft and actually feels very good against the skin. I mean, it actually kind of feels like your skin, mm -hmm. which is an interesting, uh, yeah. interesting thing. The uh, buttons on it have been recessed, so there's no, uh, no possibility that it's going to rub on something and then buttons are going to be pressed. Uh -huh. okay. Of course. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, of course, everything mm -hmm. can be locked out mm -hmm. so that, you know, you put it on someone, you don't have to worry about some accidental uh, thing happening. Uh, another thing that it does is when you switch it on, it can automatically go into standby mode. Mm -hmm. So with it in standby mode, uh, you would basically put it on the player, you know, any number of hours before they were to go onto the field, mm -hmm. and you would remotely uh, take it out of standby, and then you would be broadcasting. Uh, another really big, well, two more big features is it's full, fully encrypted, mm -hmm. so that you've got 16 million encryption codes, because all the sports organizations are very focused on protecting the audio, because we want to make sure, and they want to make sure, that nothing is heard by any unintended listener. So previous to this microphone, anything that they've put on the player that you know was rubberized was FM unencrypted. And really those days are, are pretty much over at this point mm -hmm. because we do, uh, you know, they need that. And uh, certainly I would say the last big feature is the internal so wait, they They could go into a huddle Yes. Uh, and you know the quarterback calls the play, and there's no there's no risk of somebody intercepting that digitally. Well, that's right. Of course, you know if they're huddling, I mean they certainly you know have information that would be quite valuable. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, obviously to the other team, but then again, you never know who who would be intercepting it. With this, there's no way to intercept that. Yeah. So that's all very very uh, advantageous. Mm -hmm. And another feature is the internal recording that you know all Zaxcom transmitters have the patented internal recording mm -hmm. and we're able to record both in mono and stereo so for production uh, value I mean certainly live I mean we have to be able to broadcast but you can go back after the fact you can 
you know, pull in the audio into an edit system and, you know, do whatever you want to do with it. And of course, if someone goes off the field and you want to make sure that, you know, if you want the audio from the locker room or whatever, you're able to do that. We also have the ability to protect the players because we can turn off the transmitters remotely besides turning them on. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's very important that, you know, audio be broadcast when it needs to be broadcast. And mm -hmm. that's, that's what we do with this transmitter. And speaking of, uh, of broadcasting, I'm sure that you may notice that there are a couple of wires running along the table here. Uh, both Glenn and I uh, have our two microphones into this one ZMT Flex transmitter, and that's the sound that you're hearing now. Exactly. So, you know, if you go back to the overhead view, you'll see there's actually two meters that are on the transmitter. So if you speak... Here's mine. And here's mine. So I'm on the left side and Nick is on the right side. So I think this is the first time that you've done one of these videos with only a single transmitter when it comes to having two people on camera. That's true. You know... I was going to say that, and I guess potential applications for this, if you have to double mic somebody, like let's say you've got the, the center in an NFL game, uh, you can put one for their microphone to get all the, um, you know, the hitting and the smacking on the front, and then you can put another one on the back so you get the quarterback saying hut, hut, hike, and all that stuff. Well, exactly. I mean, the sports organizations definitely have a need for stereo transmission. Uh, this is something that's been done with our... Uh, TRX LA transmitter for years mm -hmm. and with that system we took both channels of audio into the Limo connector and with this because we have the two separate connections it's much easier for the sports organizations to swap out microphones and get people wired up because there's no flying connection that they have to do to get it into the transmitter because there's only one connection. Mm -hmm. I think another interesting fact is that for our production sound customers, you know, this is just another tool for them. I mean, obviously we have, you know, the ZMT, which is, you know, ridiculously small. Mm -hmm. We have AA power transmitters. We have the ZMT Phantom for the boom pole with recording. And with this, you're able to take it and do things like put it in the visor of a car and with just a single transmitter, just mic two people. Uh, you know, driver and passenger with mm -hmm. one transmitter. So that's really a nice application. And then again, any application where you think you might want a stereo image from an actor, maybe they're doing something with a lot of action where they're looking left, they're looking right, mm -hmm. you know, you've got those two channels. So in post-production, you can pick, you know, the best channel. Yeah. You know, and obviously, you know, to do that would require two separate transmitters. And with this, it's only the single transmitter. Cool. And um, so you were talking about the battery life on that. Can you say that again and also show us, you know, this is all kind of one complete unit. How do you get into it? How do you change the battery? All that stuff. Sure. Um, what we really needed to do here, because it is on athletes, is we had to make sure that it was very waterproof. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we like to use the word water resistant because, you know, ultimately, you know, I mean, it's not quote unquote submergible, even though I think it would quite nicely uh, survive a, a little swim in the toilet, mm -hmm. which happens sometimes. Uh, but everything is sealed. And if we go to the overhead, uh, basically the antenna and mic connectors are quite well sealed against the rubber because the entire case is rubber. We have a rubber plug, which We'll try to uh, point out here. There's actually, it's not a rubber plug, but it's a plexiglass plug. And I'll pull that plug out of this transmitter. So now you can see the card slot. And once we put the plug back in, it is perfectly hidden uh, in the transmitter. The rubber is actually pulled around that. So it forms a, a watertight seal. Mm -hmm. And also there's charging contacts on the bottom. And we do have a watertight seal on that as well. Uh, one of the nice advantages of this over uh, previous uh, technology is that even though it is rubber and it is, as I say, uh, fully flexible, we're able to actually access the battery by peeling back the rubber on the bottom, which comes up in two layers, and then mm. there's the battery. Uh -huh. Okay, so to actually replace the battery, all we have to do is just undo two wires with a soldering iron and the battery would pull right out. 
Now, this isn't something you're going to do during the day, right? But you know, after you've used the unit for maybe six months to a year, and the battery life has gone down a little bit, you would be able to easily uh, replace the battery, you know, with the simplest of uh, tools. And you said, uh, is it six hours at seventy-five milliwatts? Is that right? It is six hours at seventy-five milliwatts. Mm -hmm. And when I talk about twenty-four hours of standby time. The uh, standby time is actually a little bit better than uh, one quarter mm -hmm. of the power that it uses when it transmits. Mm. So, for instance, if you were uh, to have the unit in standby for four to five hours, you would basically lose one hour of run time. Mm -hmm. So, what I like to say is it's roughly five and five. Uh -huh. uh, it's very practical to have it in standby for five hours and then use it continuously for five hours, which I think for, you know, literally any of the sports that are out there, um, you know, it's a good combination of standby time and run time. Yeah. Five hours would be a long game in any, any sport, uh, except a, for golf. A very, yes, a very long game, certainly. Mm -hmm. uh, but when it comes to mounting these, I think, uh, you know, there's quite a few options because they are so flexible and so thin. Uh, you know, on someone, I mean, the sports organizations have their special mounting, whether it's in little pockets that are sewn into uniforms or, you know, whatever they they do, which mm -hmm. they don't always tell us what they do, right. but certainly they're there. Um, for our film TV customers, I think that, you know, this would be something that you could easily put behind a belt. Mm -hmm. You could put it behind a bra strap. Um, you know, certainly if you put it in a pocket, uh, it would be literally unnoticeable. So there's quite a few uh, options for mounting this. And mm -hmm. uh, I think it's something that the actors are going to like because basically it runs very cool and, of course, feels amazing to the skin uh, because there's no sharp edges mm -hmm. and everything is rubberized. You just really don't have any, uh, any point where it's going to touch someone where they're going to feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have a charging unit that you're selling separately? or I Yes. Okay. Uh, it does come with... A charging adapter uh -huh. that basically just plugs onto the bottom mm -hmm. and then there is for that comes with it great and then there is a separate two unit drop-in charger mm -hmm. which uh, has an extra cost we don't have the price set yet um, but yeah but you do have the option of a drop-in charger the drop-in charger can either charge it in about four hours or two hours depending upon the uh, the setting Got it. That you have, yeah. Cool. And then it's got all the standard Zaxcom bells and whistles. It does, you know, recording, Zaxnet, uh, all that stuff. Oh, absolutely. You're able to have full integration with the Zaxcom ecosystem, mm -hmm. you know, remote controlling the recording. Uh, they will be able to replay on a, and audition as well. You can change the frequency. Mm -hmm. uh, all those things you can do from... The recorder, or you can do most of them from the IFB 200. Mm -hmm. So you know it's the flexibility of the system and what you can do with it as part of the Zaxcom recording system, with the patented functions that are in there, are just really quite amazing. When uh, it comes to being on location and being able to know that you've got the audio, I mean, not only recorded internally, but you're able to you know, audition, replay, and remix the audio, you know, with the combination of the Zaxcom recording wireless and either the Nomad or the Diva 24 recorder. So mm -hmm. it's really a system that has no, you know, no parallel in, uh, you know, in our business with what you can do with the system. Awesome. So yeah. another, another tool for the toolbox. Another tool. And most importantly, and the thing we didn't talk about, it sounds amazing because right now, you know, everyone's listening to it in stereo mode. The other important thing is you can see that it does say never clip on it. Mm -hmm. This is our first stereo transmitter that when it's in mono mode has never clip on. Oh, on, on both preamps? Not on, on, one well, preamp. on the one preamp uh -huh. that you're using, yes. Okay. So we were able to put the never clip function mm -hmm. in, which is extended dynamic range so that you can't clip the transmitter. Mm -hmm. So that's a really important feature. Uh, when you're in stereo mode, though, uh, there is no never clip. It's just basically, uh, you know, basically straight recording yeah. with, without that. But, you know, the unit has tremendous dynamic range to begin with. It's approximately, 
hundred and eight dB uh -huh. uh, for each of the stereo channels. So it's really quite quite good. And if someone needed to, they could trim the uh, the microphone gain remotely. And it does allow us to trim both channels simultaneously. And the transmitter allows us to have an offset between channels so that if one microphone is a couple dB hotter than the other, you can trim it so that they'll both be at exactly the right level. And then you remote control both levels identically. Cool. All right. Well, there yeah. we go. So um, that's the new ZMT Flex. Glenn, thank you so much for coming all this way and bringing it with you. Um, so uh, for this video and other videos, you can visit us online at gothamsound.tv for all the latest news uh, in the audio world. You can follow us on Facebook and on Twitter. Um, and if you have any ideas uh, or questions, you can always email us at info at gothamsound.com. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks, Nick. Thank you, Gotham. <laughs>